All television shows are affected by ratings. At some stations, news shows are getting very competitive. What used to be a headline is now a punchline. The effects of Hollywood on news shows has become very apparent. Here's one show that used to be called Live, Live, Live at 5. Now it's called Fun, Fun, Fun at 5. from the main newsroom of Channel 8. It's the 5 o'clock report. Here's Biff Bennett with sports, Sydney Storm with the weather, and your anchor persons, Ted Trash and Susie Wong. Oh, Ted, I just love your tuxedo. Oh, thank you, Susie. <laughs> it's just my after six and before set. <laughs> yes, and joining us on Fun, Fun, Fun at 5 is a guy who's going to help us take the blues out of the news. Our commentator on foreign affairs, Dumb. Donaldson. In my head, Ooh, you got the whole world. In my head, I got the whole world. In my head, I got the whole world in my head. And that's the condition of the world as I see it. Flash here. Chivalry is alive and well in New York City. On a subway train last night, a man stood up and offered a lady his gun. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the sports news with our commentator, who is so macho, he's got muscles on his lips. Biff Bennett. Here are this afternoon's scores. 5 to 2. 3 to 1. 110, 109. 21-14 and 35-28. Uh, and the teams are the Mets, the Cubs, the Celtics, the Lakers, the Raiders. And now it's time for Fun, Fun, Fun at Five to take a look at the new movies. So here from our morning show is our crabby critic, Mr. Gene Pallet. <laughs> some of the new old movies that will be coming to your screen next fall. Joan Rivers in Terms of Endearment. <laughs> Dolly Parton in Two for the Road. <laughs> Yogi Berra, Billy Martin, and George Steinbrenner in Take This Job and Shove It. <laughs> and finally, Sex symbol Joan Collins will do her own version of the old Deanna Davin hit, A Hundred Men and a Girl. <laughs> what news show would be complete without a look at the weather? So here is our balmy weatherman, Dr. Sidney Storm. I'm singing in the rain, yes, singing in the rain. What a glorious feel, and I'm Again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. And now for all of our fun, fun, fun at five viewers who are having a little trouble with their love lives, here is our expert on all things erotic, Dr. Ruth Sexheimer. Thank you. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Hello, sir. So, you are hot to trot and... <laughs> it isn't working out. But, let me give you a couple important tips on the art of making love, okay? First, romantic music always sets a nice tone. So, put Barry stereo on the Manilo. Or is it Barry Manilo on the stereo? Whatever. What's the difference? Just do it, okay? Or, oh, better still, pick out some passionate music on, like, so, Bolero. Bolero would be perfect. But you don't want to give your lover the wrong idea, so never play the minute waltz, all right? Yes. And remember to share your fantasies, unless they involve one of the seven dwarfs or Buddy Hackett. <laughs> Then you keep your mouth shut. And, of course, you know what I'm telling you? Good sex requires complete concentration. So, 
Never spoil this sublime moment of ecstasy by asking your partner to pass the Doritos. <laughs> I like that, okay? And make your lover feel special, okay? After lovemaking, never use the word next. <laughs> Good. So, many viewers ask me, can I arouse my lover by nibbling on his ear? I like that. Oh, of course. If he's under 60, nibble on his ear. If he's over 60, nibble on his hearing aid. It's the same thing. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, they ask, is it right to use sexual devices when making love? Of course. If they're used with sensitivity, it's fine. To me, anything goes except, of course, jumper cables. 